ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Tech Showdown. Today we're checking out the Gigabyte Z370 Aorus Ultra Gaming Wi-Fi, which comes with a 32 gigabyte Optane drive. So let's jump right in and talk about the key features. So this takes all your 8000 series Intel CPUs, I tested it with the 8700K, takes up to 64 gigabytes of dual channel DDR4 memory at up to 4000 megahertz. It's coming with RGB on the RAM and PCI slot, some on the sides too. Industry leading ESD and surge protection, anti-sulfur resistors, which I didn't know was necessary, but it comes with them. And of course it comes with the ALC1220 codec, which we see in many of the boards now with hi-fi grade capacitors, so it is really solid onboard audio. So let's go over the layout then, and let's work from top to bottom. So on the top left there, you have a fan connector beside the 8-pin CPU power connector, an 11-phase VRM with ferrite core chokes and decent heat sinks, the CPU fan and CPU optional headers beside them, metal reinforced RAM slots, which is always good to see, some RGB headers beside another fan header in the top right, the motherboard power connector beside USB 3.0 and 3.1 headers. And then over towards the middle you see the included Intel Optane drive under that heatsink. Check the description below for my video explaining Intel Optane. It's basically like a cache type thing. Now you also get a second times 4 M.2 slot in the middle if you need it. Then you get three PCIe times 1 slots, which are always really handy to have two PCIe times 16 physical slots with a metal reinforcement. One of them is running at by 16, one of them is running at by 8. And then a final PCIe times 16 physical slot which is running at times 4. This one has no reinforcement. It also has Gigabyte's patented double locking bracket which is nice for holding your graphics card in place. Then back on the right side you have the Thunderbolt connector and four SATA 6 ports. These are right angled ones. Then in the bottom right you have two more SATA 6 connectors but these ones are upright which is interesting to see beside the front panel header. Then you just get two more fan headers beside two USB 2.0 headers, a TPM connector beside more RGB and LED headers and finally you just have your front panel audio connector in the usual spot. Let's go around the back and check out the rear I.O. from left to right. So you have a PS2 connector above two USB 3.1 Gen 1 ports. Then you have your Wi-Fi antenna connectors. Then a USB 3.1 Gen 2 Type-A and Type-C ports. A full-size HDMI out port if you need it for your onboard graphics. Two more USB 3.1 Gen 1 Type-A ports. RJ45 Ethernet jack above two USB 2.0 ports and then finally you just have all your standard audio connectors. Now let's take a look at the BIOS. The BIOS is really good. I find the Gigabyte BIOSes to be a really nice balance. They're advanced enough for the enthusiasts but they're basic enough for newbies. Setting up the fans is really easy, updating the BIOS is very very easy and doing all the overclocking stuff, setting voltages, speeds and all that, playing around with your memory is all very very straightforward. Overall I really like using it, it's easier to use than the ASUS BIOSes in my opinion uh, just because it's much more straightforward. So yeah, it's a very good BIOS that's coming with this motherboard. Which brings us now to the conclusion, and what do I make of the Gigabyte Z370 Aorus Ultra Gaming Wi-Fi? So it's coming in right now at Playtech at $329 New Zealand dollars, which is a decent deal. This is probably the best way to get people to use an Intel Optane drive because it's going to be really useful coming with the motherboard. Now it does lack onboard buttons, you know, that's what enthusiasts usually like to see, which is a bit disappointing. The upright SATA ports as well are a bit surprising to me anyway. Otherwise, it's a pretty solid motherboard overall, and it's decent value for money. So if you're looking for a Z370 that's not going to break the bank, but it's sort of like a mid-tier one that's very solid all round, then check this one out if you haven't already. Now I thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll see you all next time.